Ryan, 35, was arrested for harassment, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of a controlled substance, and order of protection violation on February 10. He was then arrested for aggravated stalking and violating a protection order on March 1 after authorities issued two warrants for his arrest on February 23. The Ashley's Reality Roundup has reported Ryan had an emergency court hearing on Tuesday at Hamilton County Court in Tennessee. The U.S. Sun could confirm he pleaded guilty to the harassment charge. Ryan was ordered to complete rehab treatment and have no contact with the victim. A judge also ordered Ryan to wear a GPS monitor and refrain from posting about Mackenzie on social media. He will be on probation for 11 months and 29 days. The possession of drug paraphernalia, stalking, and order of protection violation charges were dismissed. As for his possession of a controlled substance, he was sentenced to rehab with the option of the time being reduced for good behavior after six months. He is due back in court on April 20 for the harassment and stalking charges. The Ashley's Reality Roundup reported Ryan's parents, Jen and Larry, were by his side in court. Mackenzie also took the stand and spoke of her estranged husband's alleged harassment. The outlet claimed, Mackenzie, 27, filed a petition for a protection order against Ryan on February 8. Mackenzie wrote in court papers of an alleged January 15, 2023 fight, arguing Ryan punched holes in the walls and doors. He held me up by my neck to the wall, threw me down in hallway, and said if he could not have me no one could. Opened pocket knife, put to my back like he was going to kill me. This was in front of children. I tried to leave, he smashed my phone, took my car keys. Mackenzie wrote that a co-worker then called 911. In the petition, Mackenzie claimed of a January 24, 2023 fight. He came into bedroom where I was laying down, pretending like he's going to punch my face, breaks bed with me in it, getting in my face yelling. I went to get kids and leave. He wouldn't let me leave. Threw me down in living room. Threw menthol my coteen in my eyes. Mackenzie claimed in the petition that her father called authorities and that officers found a loaded AR gun in the home. She then described a February 8, 2023 phone call where he threatened her, claiming, phone call threatening me, saying I'm not going to like what's going to happen to me. Mackenzie then named a motorcycle gang he joined and claimed they will find her. Ryan claimed to U.S. Sun that he did not join the gang. Mackenzie also noted Ryan has a vast history of substance abuse. She claimed in the petition that sheriffs documented him stating still using heroin on January 28. The former MTV star initially requested Ryan have no contact with her and stay away from her home and workplace. She requested temporary custody of their children, Jagger, 4, and Stella, 3, though she did not ask they be protected from their father. She also asked the court to order Ryan to move out of their home immediately. The mom of three listed three of Ryan's guns. On February 9, the court issued a temporary order of protection. Ryan told the U.S. son of Mackenzie's claims at the time, I don't speak for her. I never wanted to hurt her, just tried telling her. I would have loved to work on it because I still at the time wanted to. Mackenzie did not immediately respond to the U.S. son's request for comment on the petition. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office told the U.S. son of the claims, We do not have any additional comment to make on this incident other than what was originally listed in our press release. The arrest of David for his February 10 harassment charge obtained by the U.S. Sun detailed the threatening phone call mentioned in the petition for an order of protection. Mackenzie answered a phone call from Ryan and video recorded the conversation as she provided authorities with two videos.